Lissa Productions. Today we're going to talk about a way to characterize the gain of a circuit, which is something we call a Bode plot and a phase plot. And if we recall, we have some circuit, there's some input voltage, there's some output voltage. Talked about both of these having the same frequency, either omega or f. And the gain function, which is the gain is v out over v in, is not a function of time, but it can be a function of the frequency. And let's start by simply writing these in, in exponential form. So v in of t equals v i e to the j omega t plus phi in and v out of t equals v o e to the j omega t plus phi o. And so with this, we can put this into the gain here. The gain is going to be v o over v i e to the j omega t, and I'm going to break this up, e to the j phi o over e to the j omega t, e to the j phi i. Time dependence goes away as we expect, and we just simply get v out over v in times e to the j phi out minus phi in. So that's the gain as a function of input voltages and their phases here, okay? And that can be a function of the frequency. It can depend on the frequency. So what we'll want to do in the lab is go and measure that gain as a function of frequency. And the frequency can run from something very small like a hertz up to something very large, megahertz or gigahertz. So it's going to run over many orders of magnitude. So Instead of plotting things against the frequency, we generally plot them against the, on a logarithmic scale of the frequency so that the details are not lost. Before we go on, we need to define one additional thing. So we have the gain here. What's normally defined is something called the attenuation. So let's talk about that for a second. So the attenuation is defined to be basically how fast the power falls off. So the attenuation in units of bells, named after Alexander Graham Bell, is the log base 10 of the output power over the input power, or the output power over some reference power. It's something power versus some reference, either the input or a reference here. So that's the attenuation. In an electrical circuit, we know that the power is proportional to the voltage squared. So in our particular case, if it's the same proportionality, log 10 of V out squared over V in squared. And we can pull the 2 out of there. So this is twice log base 10. I'm going to put magnitudes here now, V out over V in. So that's the attenuation in bells. Now it turns out the bell is a pretty big unit, so usually what we use is a tenth of a bell, which is a decibel. Decibel, and the units are dB. So the attenuation in decibels is going to be 10 times this, so it's 20 log base 10 of V out over V in. And a Bode plot is the attenuation in decibels plotted against the frequency, where the frequency is expressed on a logarithmic scale. One more thing we can do is if the power falls by a factor of 2, so if this is power goes down by a factor of 2, the voltage goes down by the square root of 2, so voltage goes down by a square root of 2, and Basically, if this falls by a factor of square root of 2, so this is 1 over the square root of 2, so when the power falls by 2, this is minus 3 dB. If we multiply it out, put 1 over square root of 2 in here, take the log, multiply it by 20, we get minus 3 dB. So on an attenuation plot, if the attenuation falls by 
3 dB, it means the power has fallen by a factor of 2. And that's sort of a relevant reference point for things here. So now let's look at what a Bode plot and a phase plot looks like. So we said a Bode plot is 20 dB log 10. It's the ratio of V out to V in, which is the gain. So it's log 10 of the gain. Plot it against the frequency, and I'm going to put it as there is, put the frequency in, let me just do it in hertz here, 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, a million. So there is a frequency on a logarithmic scale versus the gain. If the gain is 1, so we know 20 dB log base 10 of gain equals attenuation. If the gain is 1, the log of 1 is 0. We get something at 0. If the gain is 10, we're going to get a 1 here times 20. So 20 is going to be relevant for a gain of 10. A gain of 100 is going to be 40, and so forth. Okay. So if the attenuation or the gain is constant, we get a flat curve here. If it is falling, let's, we might have something that is some flat curve and then it starts to fall. And when it falls by 3 dB, we know the power's down by the factor of 1 over the square root of 2, and so forth. One more thing we can do is we can look at the slope of this thing. Let's say it's falling off with some linear slope and ask, what does that mean exactly? And so let's just assume that the gain is proportional to the frequency to some power p, okay? So it could be power first power, it could be proportional to the frequency, the frequency squared, one over the frequency, one over the frequency squared, but it looks something like that. Then the attenuation in decibels is going to go like this p is going to come out. We're going to get 20 dB power can come out times the power times the log 10 of the frequency. So the attenuation is going to be linear in log 10. So a line on this corresponds to a power law. And the slope is going to be 20 dB times that power. So if it's falling at 20 dB per decade, per power of 10, that means the power is minus 1. If it's rising at 20, the power is plus 1. If it's rising at 40, the power is plus 2. So a linear curve here, the slope gives us the power in that power law expression. The other plot that we have here is a phase plot. So let's take a look at that. We remember that when we took the ratio of V out to V in, we got a phase difference. We got the gain was V out over V in, e to the j, phi out minus phi in. So it would be interesting to plot what is that phase difference as well. And we do that on a very similar plot. Same frequency, so 1, 10, 100, 1,000, and so forth. So frequency in hertz. And here we plot the phase difference, delta phi and maybe it goes from pi to minus pi, but we measure this phase difference and plot it as a function of frequency parallel to this. Given both the gain on a Bode plot and the phase plot, we have the full complex gain of a circuit. We fully characterized it. So if we go into the lab, we measure the gain and make a Bode plot, and we measure the phase difference and make a phase plot, we fully characterize the complex gain of some circuit. And a Bode plot and a phase plot are sort of the standard way that we're going to represent these things in the lab. So they're a very important concept.